in india very very low when we are working as a lab technician because i met a lot of electrician they always complain basically um uh, like it will be very funny like you know i started my profession with just say 3000 rupees part time jobs or odd jobs to survive yourself you know uh, actually uh, in here it is quite simple you know you don't need to work uh, every single day like you, you you just need to work uh, you know 6 days 5 no days yet. that's it so many students say that is very low salary i don't want to start please do start whatever salary they are given you because you need to learn whatever you study in your college is not going to you know useful to you otherwise in, without experience hello everyone welcome to you all once again today we have very special guest Pavin with us. He is from Australia. He is basically from India, uh, but right now he is in Australia. So he just passed AIMS professional exam and going to become a laboratory medical scientist. Right? If you did your uh, BMLT, BCMLT in your home country, you know, and then you are eligible to work in Australia as a laboratory medical technician or laboratory medical scientist. So if you can pass this exam, then you can. become a scientist so let's talk to the pavin and see his, uh, his journey uh, about his exam you will learn a lot of things because he already uh, living in uh, uh, in australia pavin first of all congratulations to you thank you so uh, pavin if you can just give us your brief introduction yourself ki aap kahan you are from which place and your education and so far your work experience Uh, I'm I'm from India. I'm from south of India, Kerala. I did my bachelor's from uh, Mahatma Gandhi University back in 2015, and then I worked the, there for seven years. Uh, worked as a lab technician, senior laboratory technologist. It was it was a uh, quite a good experience. Then I moved to Australia. I was was like you know thinking about how to get the registration here. It was a bit hard for me at first. Then I get in contact with academically. Then it it gave a good experience and. like you know all the things were done by the even the documentation and everything was done by academically which was quite good and uh, then i did the online course with academically and to be frank uh, it was like you know i was very uh, very much unaware of how the syllabus will be how the exams will be and uh, i went through the course quite a few times and uh, then after quite a few times and i was ready for the exam like you know i cover all the uh like syllabus and everything of that academically has given to me and then i was uh, thinking to you know take the exam and i was i was going through the uh mock test daily and i was trying to reduce the time that we needed to cover the exam because whenever i went to the went through the like youtube videos and everything everything was saying like you know you need to match up the time exam time like you know probably you are not getting enough time to cover the 300 exams in a Three hour exam, or like on 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 the questions in a three hour exam, and I was trying to match up the exam time so oh, that I can do yeah. it perfectly. We will come to AIMS again, but uh, Pavin, uh, in India you did your bachelor degree, or so what was your aim initially? Why you joined this laboratory medical uh, technician in India? The course. Uh, to be to be frank, like in hours, I was not aware of what uh, this course is and all of all these things about. like uh, i went uh, my me and my cousin went to the university and i had an like he selected multi and mm-hmm. then he t- told me like you know you need to select this course and i was not aware about this course even i went in there to the professor who was giving me the options and he gave me two options go for nursing or mlt and uh, i chose mlt straight away because my cousin told me already so okay, that was but, the first but papa when you are from kerala and lot yeah. of people from kerala they choose to go in nursing a uh, maximum i can say they go for nursing but you choose to mlt right yeah i chose to be a uh, lab technician and uh, like my experience once i finished my course like, i met with a lady like she is currently 85 or 90 or or year okay. and she was my my lab manager and she is so experienced and she came to this profession as, and she was very passionate about the profession and to be frank like i still respect her and admire her the way she is with this profession is she still working in this profession she is updated to the very least this moment and she is the one uh, like you know she is the one who motivates me every single day that's why i keep going for this profession okay so pavin uh, when you start working so what was the salary in india salary basically 
in india very very low when we are working as a lab technician because i met a lot of electrician they always complain basically um uh, like it will be very funny like you know i started my profession with just 3000 rupees 3000 rupees pretty low yeah a, a, like a man with a bachelor's degree starting with a 3000 dollars is a uh, 3000 rupees is is very low hmm. and uh, then it moved like after 6 months it uh, it went up to 6000 then after one year it went up to 9000 then i moved from that laboratory to the another one i mean yeah, like project with indian government like you know a some government project and then i got 15000 then it moved to up to, it went up to 25000 that was my highest salary i got from india is still the pavin give very good idea is here because he start from 3000 so many students say that is a very low salary i don't want to start please do start whatever salary they are given you because you need to learn whatever you study in your college is not going to you know useful to you otherwise in, without experience so when you start with fast job obviously salary very low and you need to start if you are doing very good passionately you are doing obviously company will impress and they will increase your salary like pavin is 3000 6000 9000 then he jump to the 25000 right so is gradually will increase but aapko start karna chahiye aapko koi bhi job mile india ke andar right so uh, i mean 25000 still is not a very good salary because many uh, इवन जो फूड डिलीवरी गाइज होते हैं इंडिया के अंदर वो लोग भी इतने कमा लेते हैं राइट जो इवन डेली वेज वर्कर्स का भी सैलरी हाई होता है राइट दैट्स इन इंडिया या बट इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया बेसिकली ऑल आर इक्वल बिकॉज आई एम लिविंग लॉस मेनी इयर्स इन सिडनी सो आई हैव सीन दियर यू नो वेरी वेन वेन यू आर इलेक्ट्रीशियन और प्लम्बर और यू आर ए सिक्योरिटी गार्ड वाट वेज यू आर डूइंग एवन यू आर ए टैक्सी ड्राइवर most of the time they all are equal they are earning uh, almost the same salaries when you are earning it. but yeah, obviously you are a healthcare professional you need to work your in your own field only you will feel proud jo degree aapne kiya in india is totally different when you are working in australia okay so pavin have you work in australia what was your experience in in australia uh when i came here in austria it was hard to find a job at first because you know in here no, finding a job is have. very hard yeah. yes yeah so you need to go for all the certifications from the beginning and you're mm-hmm. a beginner you need to find out which place to go where to go and all those things yeah uh, i started my job as a trolley puller in here then i moved to a carer and i got jobs I, i was working for agency then i got a permanent job and I mean, between I had to prepare for the exams. It was hard time, like you know, everything. Initially, really hard in 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 abroad, but after some time, is definitely worth. I can say, you know, you will remember yeah. your days. You know, even I was went to Australia to doing my PhD. You know, a student visa. So in a student visa, you have to do a lot of part time jobs or odd jobs. to survive yourself you know i but with working a job karne mein koi bhi you know uh, burai to nahi hai na, right you are doing working working hard is you know but today you pass exam and become a lab scientist so at the end you know all good you know so how is what this exam is it a very, very tough exam or mediocre exam what was your experience with this ams exam uh first of all i would i would start i would like to start with uh, the practice mock test that was on uh, aims academically site uh, like when i went through i compared the exa- the questions on aims academically and the questions that were given on aims website uh, i thought it, it was like you know why the aims questions are this much tough and uh, when the aims is giving this like you know very simple questions mm. and i was thinking about that first then uh then i thought like you know i would i would anyway i would like to go through all the questions and i will do the mock test uh even though the aims is giving this much simple questions uh but like when i started the exam the first thing that came to my mind was like you know aims exam is not that much easy like uh, i don't know if how it was before but like this time it was so hard and they were going around like you know they were asking more questions about the cancer tumor and how the tissues and uh, cells are arranged all those things and uh, microbiology was also like they were going around on and around the organisms the culture the way the positive and negative controls with the culture and the organisms they're all giving questioning about those those things and uh, 
like yeah, because of me going through the syllabus and the lessons uh, so many times it was easy for me to recollect and go through that it was But fine for me and you were working full time and preparing yourself for aims exam so how hard it is how many hours you devoted for this exam per day uh, actually uh, in here it is quite simple you know you don't need to work uh, every single day like you, you you just need to work uh, you know, six days no five days day. that's it mm-hmm. yeah you don't need to work every single day and that's not a full day like india because in india you have to work four days a fortnight and in here you don't need to Yes. and that's the difference yes. and uh, i used to i used to spend my time call, like quality time because whenever i am getting time and I, i used to wake up early in the morning and uh, i was using all those time with me and i was preparing notes and i was using the notes for easy access like you know I, I, it's hard for me to get the laptop every time to uh, go through the lesson so i used to create my own notes with the lessons that i got from academically and i used to go to the notes the for IQ access and that kept me recharging every time with the lessons and i was bit good with that so many people think that you know this journey is very long and very you know tough exam so what do you want to say at the end you know we um, want to watching us in this video uh the first thing is like you know uh, i won't say that it's a good good and easy exam like you know, i would say like it's a hard one and uh, you need to be a bit lucky also Mm. uh the other thing is like you know your preparation will pay off like you need to be uh, like patient you need to pay, like to prepare well you need to hard work and uh, that will pay off and uh, you need to make sure like you know you are going within the time like uh, to be to be frank i'm not like pushing my me to up uh, upwards like you know i finished my exam within the first uh, one one hour or something and i was i was waiting there like you know just going through the questions again and again because i know the questions are really hard and i don't i don't want to make any wrong decisions i was just going through again and again to make sure every question that i have answered is fine mm-hmm. because uh, i was i was going through the questions quickly so like within one hour finishing to on 50 questions you know it will be like you are going to easy so that's why that's why i was going through again again but like you know if you prepare like that and if you go through the questions so easily and and the way you prepare yourself to attend the question then you'll be fine like you can quickly get it yes 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 uh, so that's all fabian uh, wish you all the very best uh, for you you know Thank so you. if you are a lab technician want to work in australia or any other country in abroad so we can help you to complete your entire process connect us today thank you so much bye fabian mm-hmm.